Two years after the release of Mavic Air, here comes a new bird. This is Mavic Air 2. DJI's brand new drone that has Sony's 1 over 2 inch IMX586 sensor with quad bare color filter array that allows this bird to take 48 megapixel photos, 4K60 regular, 4K30 HDR, 1080p 240 frames per second slow motion video. It has APS 3.0 for better obstacle avoiding and smoother following. The 570 gram weight and 3500 mAh battery gives Mavic Air 2 34 minutes flight time. Thanks to its Ocusync 2.0 transmission system, it has 10 km range and it costs half the price of Mavic 2 Pro. So I guess the question is, is it any good? And here it is, Mavic Air 2 comes in this nicely designed box. Inside the box we're greeted with Mavic Air 2, some papers that you should read if you're new to the drone world, USB-C, micro USB cable for the remote, lightning cable is already on the remote, 3 sets of low noise propellers, charger, USB to USB-C cable, and the brand new remote that has two 2600mAh battery in it, which is enough to charge your phone also lets you mount the phone on the top and the mount is also the antennas. Design-wise Mavic Air 2 looks nothing like the first Mavic Air. The new Mavic Air 2 follows the looks of Mavic 2 Pro slash Zoom and Mavic Mini, just like how Avengers dressed up the same way in the endgame. And size and weight-wise it sits right between Mavic 2 and Mavic Mini. It has the same folding mechanism and just like Mavic 2 it feels sturdy and nice. DJI Mavic 2 has two forward, two backward, two downward vision sensors, two infrared sensors, LED, which is one of my favorite things. It turns on while you're taking off or landing in low light situations. Sensors have better precision measurement, detection range, and sensing speed. What that means is obstacle detection of this bird is better. And combined with the new advanced pilot assistance system aka APAS 3.0 this thing can follow you while avoiding obstacles much better than the rest of the DJI drones up to 4k 30 frames per second though above that it cannot follow you I think it's maybe too much The camera, which I hope is foreshadowing Osmo Pocket 2, is mounted on a 3-axis gimbal. It has 24mm f2.8 lens on it, just like Mavic Air, and it is fixed focus from 1 meter to infinity, so you don't need to worry about focusing. When it comes to video, it can shoot 4K 60 frames per second in regular, 4K 30 frames per second in HDR, and 1080 240 frames per second in slow motion. It supports H.264, H.265, 
it has regular and cine like color profile and it can shoot up to 120 megabits per second it can shoot 12 or 48 megapixel photos in raw or jpeg format if you don't want to mess with any of those it has this new feature called smart photo where it takes care of everything for you where things get really interesting is the sensor in this camera it is Sony's IMX586 sensor that has quad Bayer filter array which allows you to capture great photos in great lighting situations or 12 megapixel photos with bigger pixel size or you can use some of those photo sites in different exposure to capture HDR photo in single frame capturing different exposures in single frame prevents shadowing and allows you to create stunning looking images easier but keep in mind that since the pixel size becomes smaller in HDR or 48 megapixel mode the sensor requires a lot more light to control Mavic Air 2 you use DJI Fly app which is a very very simple app to use it is very clean easy to understand it is perfect from beginners to enthusiasts you can change the capture mode resolution frame rate you can lock the exposure and change the exposure compensation switch to manual mode set your shutter speed ISO with a couple of taps simply drag your finger on the screen to track whatever you want other settings are easy too however as you can see it doesn't let you change things like saturation contrast and sharpness and you can set white balance to only auto or manual and since the menu is covering the screen I can see much to do the manual adjustment I find DJI Go 4 a little more professional it gives you more options I wish I can use the app I like with this drone DJI Go 4 or DJI Fly but I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to separate the pro line drones like Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic 2, Inspire from the rest. I personally didn't love the design of the new remote. With iPhone 11 Pro Max it becomes a little front heavy and I think it needs a little rubberized parts here so it doesn't slide out of your hand it doesn't have the customizable buttons here it has one function button here where you can select what it does but what it doesn't have is the pause button for intelligent flights which I found a little interesting because the pause button is something I keep my finger on as soon as I'm in the intelligent flight mode because you never know what's gonna happen especially around here especially with the hummingbirds they're very curious and they fly around your drone a lot but it's not the end of the world because soon with an update we will be able to use smart remote with Mavic Air 2 but other than that it is the classic DJI remote controller it's high quality the sticks are really nice you can switch between tripod normal and sport mode return home switch between photo and video modes take a photo video and this dial is to rotate the gimbal and I love the fact that it has two 2600 mAh battery in it which is so powerful that it can charge your phone if you like Mavic Air 2 also has AirSense AirSense tells you warns you if there's a manned aircraft in your area while you're flying and it is super accurate you actually get the notification even before hearing the manned aircraft coming towards wherever you are it is very useful and helpful thing to have it also does 8k hyperlapse but it wasn't fully ready while i was shooting this video hopefully it will be by the time you watch it also it has the quick shots like drone in rocket circle and helix and since it's very agile flying this drone in sport mode is a lot of fun always remember the breaking distance though Mavic Air 2 is way ahead of Mavic Air the improvements over Mavic Air is remarkable and just like the other Mavics you feel that it loves being in the sky it just loves being in the air it is so much fun to fly and as you can imagine it is incredibly stable some drones have amazing image quality but they are expensive and not that easy to carry around especially if you have a busy bag like mine some drones are very portable but they can't resist the wind too much because they're tiny 
Some drones have amazing autonomous flying capabilities, but not enough range if you just want to fly your drone around. When it comes to Mavic Air 2, I think it's a great all-in-one drone. It checks all the boxes. And I love that. 